Today we're going to look at one of the most attractive pieces of smart home hardware to hit the market. Welcome everyone, it is Andrew here for Apple Insider and we have the Aware Air Sensor. The idea is that you should be aware of what is in the air that you're actually breathing. Then provide actionable tips on how you can improve it. Aware measures a bunch of different things including fine dust, chemicals, CO2, temperature, and the humidity in whichever room that the AWARE is in. What really sets this apart from other air quality sensors out there are not only the metrics that it contains, but it helps you understand those metrics and gives you actionable intel to correct them. I've learned quite a few things in my time of testing this out and I'm really impressed and really excited to see how else I can improve my air quality and so far in just a few weeks of using it, it's actually made a big difference in our home. Aware goes a long way towards being an attractive smart home device. A lot of smart home devices look really techy and nerdy and can really stand out. This is actually quite simple. It looks very simple, it looks like it could be a clock, it looks a little bit modern and has that really nice rustic wooden frame that helps it blend into a lot of different interiors. It definitely gets attention. I had so many people ask what it is or what is that really cool looking clock that I've got and they don't even know that it has all these other features that are built into it other than just being a clock. Continuing the unboxing, below the actual unit itself you'll find a few different getting started guides and then of course the USB power adapter and the USB cable. Neither of these two are particularly exciting. They're pretty run of the mill standard USB power adapter and USB-C cable. It is really nice that they color match them and they do have a similar design aesthetic to match the actual unit itself. But again, nothing really fancy or stand out here. Just a simple USB power adapter and a USB-C cable. I will comment that I love the fact that they used a USB-C cable and not micro USB or something else. USB-C is where things are going so I'm glad to see that they're thinking towards the future and using USB-C. Taking a little bit of a closer look at the hardware itself, the front has a little bit of a protective film on it that you can remove and on the right hand side you see we have that grid and on the left it had the actual air intake valve. On the back there's a bunch more vets as well as a pair of buttons. Four of the sides are covered in this really nice walnut that really blend into at least my home aesthetic. We have a lot of walnut stuff going on, so it blends in quite well. Those buttons on the back have a tiny little knob, little nubbin thing there right in the middle allows you to find them easily when they're around the back, and you can use that to cycle through the different displays that you're going to be seeing. Booting up the app for the first time, and as you actually go to set it up, it walks you through the different metrics that it collects. Things like the humidity, temperature, CO2, the pollutants that it's finding in the air, and it explains kind of what those are, what you should be looking for, before it even starts to get to actually collecting data on your home. It takes all the different information that it collects and puts it into the AWARE score, which is a number that gives you a better idea of the overall quality of your home's air. We originally were getting a score just above in the mid 80s, and now we're all the way up to 94 after using this for a few weeks. And it really has made a difference. We actually had other air quality sensors in here and they're like, everything's fine, don't worry about it. Then we're looking at this and it's giving us different readings on the chemicals and the pollutants that it's actually seeing in the air and how those can be affecting things. And we actually saw with our dogs, we, they had allergies and kind of goop in their eye. So we saw this and we're realizing that we actually had some some chemicals in our air. So we turned on some new air purifiers, got all those out, and our dogs have been thrilled. They stopped sneezing, stopped having their goopy eyes, and it's actually really improved their quality of life, and we no longer have to give them Benadryl three times a day. So even something small like that, we made a huge difference just by using this for a few weeks. It may sound simple, and some things definitely may seem obvious, but there are a few things that we learned from this that we definitely didn't know before. It's also really nice to be able to alert you when you're at home or on the go that something's wrong with your actual air quality. And not just something is wrong, but when that's fixed and back to normal as well. Of course, you can see all of those graphs in the app, and you can even tie it into Alexa or Google Home, so you can ask either of those personal assistants how the actual air in your home is. The biggest downer for me is there's no HomeKit support. I'd love to be able to tie this into my actual air purifier and kick it on when certain levels are high and then kick it back off when they're down. But unfortunately at the moment, that doesn't seem to be in the cards. Could be coming in the future, but at least right now, that is not an option for all those Apple smart home users. So what do you guys think of Aware? 
I'm definitely interested to know your opinions, so make sure to share them down below in the comments. And if you want to pick one up for yourself, you can find a link in the description as well as the comments. If you enjoyed this video, like it and hit that subscribe button. Also, check out our price guide, which makes it extremely easy to find the best deals on Apple products updated daily. Be sure to follow us on social media, and we'll see you in the next video.